And so where, where exactly can GPs work in Australia? Where do they work? All right. GPs can everywhere, to be honest. Rural, remote, uh, metropolitan, uh, GPs work everywhere because GP, like I said, is pivotal to primary health care. And they are the pillars of primary health care. So they, they work everywhere. Mm. Being an IMG, perhaps I needed to start uh, in rural. Um, uh, I don't know if it's the right place to say it because there are some areas called areas of need. Um, they have renamed it calling distribution priority areas. I won't go into detail. So that is where we get into, but trust me, so much of support. Absolutely yeah. supported. I'm just going to share my screen. There's a, a little handy map that the federal government um, puts out, which explains this. So many of you might have heard of what, something called the moratorium. Um, and the way you can kind of understand this, and again, Sesha and I are not going to go into how the government works out <laughs> where exactly GP should go, but a lot of it's based on Medicare billings. And we'll talk about Medicare shortly as well. Um, so we can have a look and see in the map of Australia um, exactly where you can work as a GP here. So I'm going to click on there, GP. Now you have to put in a, an address. So Seshu is in Adelaide, so we might as well just put in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, and we get a map that shows us basically yellow and blue. So yellow means that um, anyone who's either training as a GP who's an IMG or indeed qualified as a GP as an IMG can work. But, and basically what that's about is you can apply for a provider number to um, uh, generate Medicare billings. And then blue is off. Uh, blue means no, basically. But this map changes about, I think, every six months. And mm -hmm. it's based on a number of things that they, they put into it. But you can see as you blow out, there are vast parts of Australia um, where you can still work um, even if you're under this restriction uh, and even and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go uh, very rural you know re remote um, it can be just a regional area or even a rural location that's uh, fairly close to the major metropolitan area I don't know whether you wanted to comment on that uh, issue uh, I, I, I believe uh, my own personal experience, going rural and remote is where um, you would get the most experience. Challenge? Mm. Yes, it would be challenging. A total change of um, culture, total change of what you're doing. But on the other side, yes, it, it is some place where you're very well supported. So you can have a bit of fun yourself and um, have a look at that map and, and see see the various parts of Australia. Um, one thing Seshu mentioned there is if you well uh, if you go really rural, you can actually reduce um, your moratorium time. So um, basically, from the point that you get registered in Australia, you have ten years to serve in a distribution priority area, uh, and that time can go very quickly. But if you go to a particularly remote area, that time actually can come down um, to as much as five years. Um,